Venturing into the world of RTK with your Enterprise drone can be expensive. Now, it can get up to something in the region of about €4,000, $4,000 or whatever, but you can do it way cheaper. And the only thing that you have to buy is the RTK module. And you don't even then have to buy the RTK base station, which can cost over €3,500 in total. So you can actually get the service for free. How do you get this? Well, by watching this video. Hi everyone, Stephen from the Flyby Guys. It's good to see you again. And we are talking about RTK. And this is a form of accuracy that we're using on top of the GNSS on your drone, which allows you to get millimeter accuracy. Millimeter accuracy. It can be really, really accurate because you're getting you know accuracy within inches. Uh, when you're using typical GNSS. And when I say GNSS, I mean GPS, as well as using GLONASS and Beidou and also Galileo. Now you're getting extra accuracy by using RTK, but you can have the base station, which you can buy, which can be well over $3,000, three and a half if you're including the stand. And then, you, you know, that's extra things that you have to carry around to make sure that they don't break. But there is a way to do it. And what we are using, we're using RTK to go. RTK to go is a free RTK service which is available all over the world. You can get this, you can actually access this. You, you don't even have to register. It's 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 so incredibly simple. But there are base stations based all over the world, all over your countries where you are all, all based. And I'm going to show you how you can activate it. It's so simple. Of course, what you need to have is a a drone that is capable of using RTK. We will be using the Mavic 3 Enterprise along with the RTK module, which you do have to buy. This can range anything from about up to $700 to $800, depending on where you are in the world. Um, so, so yeah, we are, we are using this and we don't have the DJI base station because it's a lot of money. Plus it's extra to carry around, it's extra to maintain. If you rely on it so much, then, it, it, you, then you know, if it breaks, then that's you. But even if you do have an RTK base station, you're going to want to watch this because you can use the, uh, the free RTK service as a backup service as well. So... Um, it's a nice day, so maybe we go outside onto the roof of uh, the, the Flyby Guys and we'll continue this and I'll show you how we connect because I can't really do this inside because we need to have it all. Okay, so let's go. So welcome to the roof, roof terrace of the Flyby Guys in Helsinki in Finland and it's a beautiful day today and a perfect day to be outside and show you how we connect to the RTK to go service. So. I'm, I'm recording my screen, so I'm going to bring up the RTK settings. So you have to input these settings into the RTK uh, settings part. So first of all, you have to put the URL of the rtk to gocom service. So we just put in the Ntrip host, so that is because we, you know, we are using Ntrip. So rtk to gocom you put into the Ntrip host. And in the port, you put number 2101. So it's always 2101, okay? And then after that, you'll put your user. So with the user, you can actually use any email address. So you don't even have to connect to a service. You don't have to register. Just put an email address. It can be something that doesn't even exist. It's fine. It will still work, okay? And in the password section, you can just put the word user. Uh, sorry, no, sorry, none, N-O-N-E, none. Now the mount point, now this is the part where you get the service from itself. So when you're connecting, you're actually connecting to something like this. This is an F9P GNSS unit, this is from Ublox. This is a typical uh, GNSS unit that you can get uh, and this is the receiver that you would use to connect and you would leave it outside and, uh, um, and then you would connect to the service. So we are actually connecting to the nearest mount point the nearest service so i think there's somewhere in pasila which is over in that direction actually is a few kilometers away so someone has one of these connected and that's what i'm going to be connecting to and that will give us more accuracy 
for using this drone for mapping and whatnot. Okay, so, um, so you can see in this map, so this map that you'll have all of the all of the RTK to go connections, so they're all over the world, all over the US, the UK, all over Europe, every country, even also Asia as well. You just connect to the one nearest to you. It's as simple as that. So the one nearest to you, and yeah, and then and then you can connect. So uh, it's a simple. So I'm just going to put in my email here, and uh, we are good to go, or we are good RTK to go. Okay, so there we are, all good. I'm going to save this, set successfully, and my RTK is now connected. So you can see here from the green that it is now connected. And uh, we just want to look down, so we can go down to the settings and then we can see the standard deviation between the, um, the, the latitude, longitude, and also the height as well. So this is showing us the, the uh, deviation, so just how much it's off by. So it's a few millimeters, not much, it's a few millimeters off, and that will give us the accuracy. So there you are, it's that simple. So you don't have to go and buy the RTK, or let's say the DJI RTK base station, or any other base station for that matter, because they can be quite expensive, and it's more equipment to use, more equipment that can go wrong. And this is free, it doesn't cost anything. The only thing that's gonna cost you is the RTK module. So I hope this was helpful. Are you gonna use this? Are you gonna try it out? I hope so, because it's fantastic and it hasn't let us down so far. So I hope you're gonna use this and uh, give us a like and subscribe to the channel as always. And we'll see you next time. Fly safe. have a beer now as well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Who am I talking to?